Hi everybody, welcome back to One of the Nation's Rage. Jared here. That's right. I'm still around. It's been a while, but I'm still here. So, in this particular video, I have a question for everyone. Just wondering, do you ever have those moments where you feel like you've missed something pretty important? Uh, something from a long time ago that, you know, <clears throat> could have possibly been caught. Uh, when I say important, I don't mean like your life depends on it or anything, but just something pretty interesting that, you know, it's, it seems a little bit obvious, but you never quite caught it until somebody brings it to your attention or you discover it at a much, much later date. And you're thinking, man, how did I miss something like this? Well, I found a video of mine from way back, I mean way back, that I'm kind of questionable about. There's something in the video that I can't really explain. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of searching here. I'm going to try to do a little bit of experimenting. And I'm going to show you the video that I'm talking about. Now, this video is on my channel and it was published on January 26, 2015 here. And the title of the video is Old Covington Cemetery, Another Random Adventure, Part 2. Okay, so I found the time spot where the particular clip is at on this video and well just watch so we've got bible verses her children rise arise up and call her blessed proverbs okay so i might be kind of uh i don't want to say exaggerating but i do think it's kind of strange what i'm hearing in the background now it could just be kids that are playing somewhere. But it's kind of weird that you've got these voices that just come about when I start reading this headstone that's got this Proverbs uh, quote from the Bible on it talking about her children rise up and call her blessed. And you hear these kids in the background laughing and then you hear one scream. And I just think it's kind of kind of odd and, and kind of weird that I never caught that before now. I mean, this if you look at this video, it is you know, it's been on my channel for over 6 years, nearly 6 and a half years now. And nobody caught it. I I did get a comment on this video didn't say anything about that though uh, did get a couple thumbs up on the video as well but you know it could be nothing um, it could be you know something that's not a big deal at all it could just be like I said kids playing but I am gonna do a little bit more searching into this so I've watched the video again in its entirety. I tend to do that. Um, you know, the fact that nobody said anything about it who watched the video tells me that I don't have much of an ability to keep an audience retention. And well, that's just untalented me. I'm not, I'm not the greatest youtuber okay i've been on youtube for almost seven years and i still don't even have 500 subscribers but with all that being said 
this is just interesting to me and by watching the entire video i've determined kind of where i was and it was a long time ago so i don't remember all the little details about what was going on in the video uh when I was filming it, I was just kind of there. I was exploring the cemetery. I'd never explored it like that. And I just wanted to make a video about it, but I'm going to show you on Google earth, uh, the, the area that I believe I was in. And this is a pretty big cemetery. It's in Covington, Georgia, right here. And so just to, give you an idea on the scale of this thing well it's actually here and uh, you guys see that I'm doing a little circling with my mouse now the section of the cemetery that I was in at the time was in the back and I want to say by looking at the clip that I was somewhere around here in this area I can't really zoom in any more than that it's not gonna uh, show me anything on ground level but I was in this area now I'm not gonna do a little uh, a, a close-up on these people's backyards or anything but there are houses all around the cemetery if you look I mean, it's literally surrounded by houses. So, you know, it, it's very possible that it could be just kids playing in their backyards. You know, I just think it's uncanny that you get the kids laughing and one kid even screaming. You can hear it right as I cut the clip off. You can hear some kids screaming. I'm not saying it's EVP, but what if it is? And it's just kind of weird that it, it, it sounded itself off the moment that I read the headstone. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And I guess, you know, we can look at it on Google Earth here. We can see that, you know, chances are it was probably just kids playing in their backyards. But I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna try to revisit this spot in this cemetery uh, right now. So let's go check this place out. Okay guys, we're nearly there. Uh, to get to this place, you have to kind of cross through the Covington Square doing right now it's been six and a half years since I've been to this cemetery and so I hope that I can remember how to find this place once I get there it'll be easier to find the area that I was in than it will be for me to remember how to actually get into the place it's been a while Covington Square. I mean, this place has changed so much just over the past couple of years, you know, since Covington became like a hot spot for filming all the movies and TV shows and stuff. There's like tourists here now. It's so weird. <laughs> so we come to this gate here, which by the way, this uh, property just in front of us, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it was a filming location for that Vampire Diary show. There is a, a crypt. It's not a mausoleum because it's just like one person's grave. 
but it's like a building. It's it's a crypt, and it was in the same show, I think, the, the vampire show. I don't know anything about it. I just know they filmed it here. Here it is. Here's the entrance right here. Okay. Covington Cemetery. Six and a half years since I've been here, guys. Try to get the front of it here. There you go. That was in the Vampire Diary show. And this is the cemetery. The section that we're looking for is going to be down here. video was filmed in January so all these leaves and stuff on the trees were not actually there but we know by looking at Google Earth we know what's on the other side of all those bushes and stuff we know that those are properties, residential properties. This, is this it? Yes, this has to be it. All right, let's get out. This is it. There is the particular headstone there. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Proverbs 31, 28. This one says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. Psalm 4, 8. So, just by standing here, I can tell right away that we are definitely in earshot of these homes. But guys, if I didn't come back and stand right here, it's just one of those things that I would have always wondered about. And I probably would have driven myself crazy if I didn't at least come back to this place and check it out. So I don't think it was EVP, but I do think that it was a very uncanny coincidence that just as I was reading that headstone, you could hear children's laughter. And if you go back and you watch it, you can actually hear some kid counting, almost like they're playing hide and seek or something. So I don't think it was an EVP, but it's just kind of crazy that, you know, as soon as you read something on a headstone with the word children in it, you hear children in the video. I don't remember hearing those children with my own ears. Again, it was six and a half years ago, so I can't, you know, guarantee whether I did or not, but I, I don't remember it. I don't recall it. That's that's what uh, that's what surprised me about it so much. And you know, 
just threw up a flag in my head like how could you not remember or how, how have you never noticed this after all I filmed it I edited it and I've seen it a few times since I uploaded it so I mean we can do a little bit more reading up on these particular headstones this is a family plot obviously there's actually more scripture on these two headstones but I can't read it it's, it's so far away I can't read what it says looks like that one says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, 6. The last name is Richardson. These are actually fairly recent graves. In fact, this one right here, the date on it is after the date that I filmed the video. So, you know, I don't, I don't really want to film an active burial spot that people are still using. That's not my intention here, but I'm a little curious about it, honestly. I can't read that one. It's covered up. So, yeah, I just wanted to come back here and check this place out again. It's been six and a half years. So, guys... If you watch this video, just, uh, just let me know what you think about all this. Uh, when it comes down to it, as far as, you know, paranormal stuff, I will admit that I am somewhat of a skeptic. But that doesn't mean that I'm any less... Uh, entertained or amused or even curious about things like EVP I do find it kind of fascinating and I'm not saying that you know there aren't real EVPs out there but this one obviously if if you want my honest opinion on it I don't think it's an EVP and I never tried to claim that it was I said maybe it could be but I didn't you know say that with 100% positivity in mind because obviously you know I've kind of debunked my own video but nonetheless it's the like I've said before it's an uncanny coincidence it's pretty amusing actually um, that I was able to catch something like that on camera I think it's pretty funny and pretty amusing um uh, but I had to come back to this place. I had to check it out once again. And I had to bring you guys with me because I brought you with me from the get-go. And you guys were with me when, you know, when I say you guys, I mean viewers, anybody that happened to watch that particular video. You were with me the first time around, so I had to bring you back. Um... Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's my opinion on it. It's weird, but I don't think it's paranormal. I just think it's uncanny, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let, let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. It's a little bit different from things that I've done in the past. I don't make very many videos anymore. I tend to stick primarily to my uh, my second channel, which is a truck driving channel. And the two channels themselves, they have they have nothing to do with each other. They're completely unrelated. The content is completely different on my other channel that I've been working on. You know, obviously, much much more than I have on this particular channel. Uh, with that being said. We do have some pretty 
big videos coming up in the not so distant future and you guys will see what I mean uh, if you stick around and wait for those videos to come they will come uh, so just hang in there and I will get back with you guys uh, there's also another video that I've been kind of considering doing um, it's been almost two years since I've been to the Alcove trestle and made my little uh, clips on the history of that place the haunted history of that place and I did say in that particular video that if you guys wanted me to go back at night to hit the like button and so some people did hit the like button not many uh, but the video itself did get quite a bit of views and I think it did pretty good all, all around and so I, I think I'm gonna do that I don't know when um, but I am considering going back to that place it seems more ideal to do something like that uh, during the fall or during the winter um, but then again I could do one like right now which is pretty much summertime here now or uh, and I could you know go back in winter when it's not so noisy like nature's not so noisy at nighttime uh, that that might actually uh, I'm thinking about like cicadas and crickets chirping and frogs and stuff and that might actually take away from some of the spookiness of the place itself but maybe I'm wrong maybe it'll add to it I won't know until I go but it's just an idea it's just a thought uh, that I've been considering and I think I'll do it uh, like I said don't know exactly when but it is something that I want to do so stay tuned for that kind of stuff and thanks for watching see you later Ninety-six, ninety-six. This one's got Bible verses. Her children rise, arise up and call her blessed proverbs